The Central Services Department is the heart of the hospital. These professionals play a key role in infection prevention, working hard to provide surgical teams with the sterile instruments, supplies, and equipment necessary to perform advanced, life-saving procedures every day. ChemDAC and its partners are committed to helping hospitals meet their patient care goals by providing effective safety programs that help protect the CS professional. Hospitals that rely on low temperature sterilization of instruments must use high concentrations of toxic sterilant gases to kill a broad spectrum of microorganisms. Ethylene oxide has been the gold standard for over 50 years. The potential long-term health effects, if exposed, and the need to monitor are well known. But in the past several years, new methods of low temperature sterilization have been introduced and are creating a lot of interest. It is important to note that while both hydrogen peroxide and ozone can offer shorter cycle times, it has not been well communicated that both of these sterilants also pose serious health risks. From skin burns to respiratory problems to permanent lung damage to reproductive issues to cancer. Exposure to any of the toxic sterilant gases is dangerous. These health risks have been well documented by respected agencies in the United States, in Canada, and around the world. Because of the severe health issues that could occur if an employee was accidentally exposed over time, government agencies and other professional organizations have set limits on the amount of sterilant gases that any employee can be exposed to. These regulations are intended to help employers put safeguards in place to create a safe working environment for anyone that works around these toxic sterilants. This chart shows, for each sterilant gas, what OSHA and the Canadian Standards Association has set as the limit that any employee can be exposed to over 8 hours or just 15 minutes. These limits are expressed in parts per million. To help us understand just how small that is, consider one inch on a stretch of road that is 15.78 miles long. Or, in the world of central services, what we do know is that depending on which sterilant is used, there can be as much as 100,000 parts per million in the sterilization chamber at its peak. As you can imagine, it would not take much of a leak for just one part per million of ethylene oxide or hydrogen peroxide or even one-tenth part per million of ozone to escape into the employee's breathing zone. We also know that we cannot rely on our sense of smell to detect a leak. By the time we smell it, we've been exposed far above the permissible exposure limit. A lot of research has been done and policies have been created to help hospitals design a safe work environment in order to avoid accidental exposure to sterilant gases. Both OSHA and CSA developed standards specific to ethylene oxide more than 20 years ago and we expect discussion on safe use of the other gases will continue. ChemDAC and its partners are working proactively with hospitals to understand the need to monitor low temperature sterilants no matter which method is being used. OSHA regulations and CSA standards for safe use of ethylene oxide covers areas such as how and where sterilizers should be installed posting signs so that employees know when they are entering an area where a toxic gas is being used. Having proper engineering controls in place such as air exchanges and ventilation. Having a way to promptly notify employees of an ethylene oxide exposure in the event that the ventilation system might fail or if there was a sterilant gas leak in the work area. How 100 percent ETO cartridges should be stored and what kinds of records must be kept and for how long. Over the years, ChemDAC's customers have provided great insight to problems they found after investigating alarms in the Central Service Department. Hundreds of users have also logged their personal experiences with hydrogen peroxide sterilizers in the U.S. Federal Drug Administration's MOD database. What if any of these would happen in your facility? A leak in the exhaust hose behind the sterilizers. An exhaust fan 
damaged during a lightning storm forces ethylene oxide gas back into the work area instead of outside. Difficulty breathing while a hydrogen peroxide sterilizer is running. Or even a leaking ETO canister inside the fireproof box. All of these have happened and without some means to monitor in place, these incidents may have gone undetected or more importantly, not corrected soon enough to protect employees from exposure. While our first responsibility is to take care of our families, our employees, ourselves, we must also think of the hospital and its patients. Imagine an unexpected gas leak that forced central services to evacuate or an undetected exposure that resulted in health issues years down the road. News releases have shown that when forced to evacuate, hospital operations are down on average two and one-half hours while emergency services investigates the cause. An unexpected gas leak could disrupt the hospital's care of patients and also raise certain financial concerns. What if you were not able to care for patients because the OR could not get the instruments they needed on time? What if exposed employees had to receive ongoing medical surveillance? Not to mention potential liability of insurance claims and legal actions. It is important to assure safety throughout the sterilization process and for all of the people that have come to depend on it. Employees are our greatest asset. As they are asked to do more and more with less, that's when mistakes are most likely to occur. ChemDAC and its partners believe that automating systems, such as safety monitoring, just make sense so that your employees can focus on patient care while the safety system keeps watch over the workplace. ChemDAC's SteriTrack gas monitoring system focuses on notifying hospitals if there is a problem long before it hits critical state and interrupts your business or forces an evacuation. Area monitors and remote displays work in conjunction with the DAQ central management system to provide the most comprehensive coverage. Monitors with color-coded, easy-to-read displays, impending alarms that let you know if there's a leak so that you can proactively investigate and correct the problem before it affects your employees, your patients, your hospital. Virtually no maintenance, and a central management system for data storage and compliance with OSHA regulations and CSA standards. All these configured to meet your hospital's specific requirements. ChemDAC and its partners care. With workloads increasing, pressure from different agencies on the rise, and the desire to make the workplace as safe as it can be, we are proud to bring a technology to bear that is a leader in the industry for protecting employees from exposure to toxic sterilant gases. With more than 180 installations and almost 600 monitors deployed, ChemDAC and its partners understand the challenges you face. We're here to help the hospital understand the issues and look at ways to protect one of your most precious assets, the central services professional. Please let us know how we can help you and other members of your team address this most important area of employee safety. Thank you.